Welcome to Art Appreciation 160. I'm getting a lot of emails about due dates, about Pearson, about Canvas. I want to clear up a few things. The first thing I want to tell you guys is I've been trying to get a Zoom account for the last four weeks. There seems to be a glitch in the system because I can get everything from them except for the invitation link. As soon as I get it set up, I'll set up an office time where you guys can um, come online and ask me questions and we can work through it together. Um, there's several things I want you to note about the Canvas due dates. For example, this is discussion two, which opened up this morning. Um, the due date is May 25th at 10 p.m. One of the things that you can do is go to announcements. I put out a Canvas course summary yesterday. I want to explain this to you a little bit. In it, I did a screenshot of all of your Canvas assignments. It tells you the due dates on the left and the time on the right. But you can also find this on your syllabus. If you read the syllabus all the way through and went down to the bottom, there's your course summary with the due dates on the left and the time on the right. The um, next thing I want to show you is, and you you have grades from Canvas. Those are the assignments that I will be grading for your Canvas portion of the course. The book portion, which is Pearson Revel, you click on Pearson Revel, go through the steps to you know make an account, get your access card and um, e-text. You can do the reading online, or if you're more of a hands-on person, you can get the leaflet book and do the um, access the quizzes through the access code. Um, I'm looking at the teacher's screen, so I'll try to cut through that as quickly as possible. Over here, you can see I'm on assignments. Okay, Assignment is due May 16th for chapters 1 and 2. All right. Down here at the bottom, let's see if I can get this to go down just a little bit more. Okay. On every one of these assignment home pages, you will find um, the due dates at the bottom. So if I was to click on May 17th, it's going to tell me chapters 3 and 4 are due the very next day. I know that's a lot of reading and it starts you out with a really big, you know, handful of stuff to do. But then when you hit May 24th, you have three again. And then the 31st, you have three again. You have to remember that this is usually a 16-week course, and it's condensed into 10 weeks. Um, so I have to push everything together. There were, um, in June, there's one of these that has just, I thought, maybe not. They all have three except for the first two. So you can see when you click on the date, it tells you what chapters you're supposed to be reading, except for the last chapter, and that is just, due on July 11th, and there's only one. Quite a bit of stuff to do in the beginning, but it's only two chapters, and then the next day it's only two more chapters. Um, they don't open up until the one before closes, so you can't scoot through this and get it done. You have to do the chapters and pace yourself along with the class. They open up at 8 o'clock in the morning after the one before it has closed. So let's go back to the Canvas site because I'm getting more. Why won't this? Oh, I hate things like this. <laughs> you guys are going to find out I am so not perfect. Um, where's my escape? Oh, tears. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> I could cheat and go to another uh, thing at the top. Nope, I don't want to be there. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go back here. I did that through the tab at the top. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing to move. So far, I haven't liked Screenomatic. Okay. Assignments are all right here. Your modules are all right here. Some people are saying, well, I can't open up 
the things that are in advance know they're set to open up at a certain time. We're going to pace the course so you stay on track. I will open up the last two. Um, right now I've opened it up through lesson five. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and open this one. I'll walk through it with you guys. You should be able to see this. It's a bit, yeah, it's available from May 4th to June 1st. So you can read and do your midterm paper early. That one is possible. And let me explain what that's about. You have two different options. Option number one, you can compare and contrast two artists. Option number two are two more artists. One, one comparison is painting. One comparison is sculpture. You submit your paper right here for 100 points. Don't submit it up here. This is just instructions. Um, you submit right here. And the same day, Discussion 3 is due. So you might want to do Discussion 3 early. Start your paper early. Don't wait till the last minute. I have students that turn in papers at 9.59 or 10 o'clock, and it locks them out, and they're saying, but, but, but. You got to keep yourself on track, and if I was you, I would print out that course assignment sheet that I pointed to earlier in the syllabus so that you can look right on your desk next to your computer or in your folder, wherever you keep your papers. What's due this week? What do I have to do this week? What is possible? I do give you a um, extra credit assignment that you can do here. Problem is with that, it's go visit an art gallery. <laughs> Um, with the pandemic, it's, that's going to be a problem. So, I'm going to, for the summer session, allow you to find an artist that's on my um, course information page. Um, it's linked to Pirates Net, where you look for courses, and that's where you signed up. And on the left, for more information about this course, click here. When you go to that page, you'll find a list of videos and a list of artists that I like. Find one that you like out of that list and tell me why you like it. I'm looking for a subjective um, point of view. Try to use some of the, in fact, I'm demanding that you use um, the verbiage that you've been learning in class. That's why I put it in your lesson four. It gives you a chance to um, kind of pick up on some stuff before you start talking about art. The worst thing you can do when you write a paper about art is it's so pretty, it's so cute, it would look great over my couch. Ooh, I like that. Why? you got to tell me why. Was it the texture, the color, the size, the subject? Um, there's a whole bunch of different terms you've been reading about or will be reading about in the book that you can use in your paper. And it's only a one-page extra credit paper. It's not rocket science. And I'm looking for your opinion using those terms. This lecture and discussion is just something that I put together where I'm talking as an artist because I'm a painter pointing out what the artist is doing. What are you looking at? Some people will look at that painting and go, that's a mess. But as I describe what he's doing and how he changes things, um, hopefully you'll pick up on the idea that he's uh, suggesting movement and time and memory and all the things that um, I talk about in the lecture. And then I want you to say something about it. Um, oh, I hope that's the right one. There's two lectures in here. That's the one I was talking about. This one talks about the terms. So watch this one. And watch this one first. Okay, this one's going to talk about the basics. Um, you know, harmony, content, context, color, texture, all of that. Then watch this one. I should flip them around, but there's already too much down here. Um, I'm not going to make this, this little screen matic thing perfect because it's frozen on me three times trying to edit it. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm pretty easy going, but you guys will find that my schedule is kind of 
weird because all summer long I'm supposed to be putting together online a figure drawing class, oil painting class, and acrylic painting class. And the oil and acrylic are four different levels, and the figure drawing is two different levels. So that's like 10 classes I have to put together online for them, which is going to be really difficult because they're used to studio, in-person, collaborating with friends, um, learning from each other, and watching my demos. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. I'm um, on Facebook, and I put up my artwork and some demonstrations it's at high speed but <laughs> it might be fun fun to watch um make sure you guys are reading everything in the um, announcements because and in the syllabus the home page is pretty basic see you guys are seeing things right here that i took out i didn't put any of this in here i wanted to keep it simple they keep adding things to it and you know making us do other stuff and you got to have this and you got to have that and i kind of feel like the school's blowing you guys out of the classes they you know you're so overwhelmed in the beginning that you don't want to start so i keep it as simple as possible um, the places to look are the assignments the announcements the syllabus and pearson if you have problems with pearson i just sent out another um, announcement on that they have all of their um, aides helping them in the Philippines and because of the breakout there's nobody there to answer the phone that's why you guys aren't able to get through I've gotten a couple of emails about that so make sure that you um, use the links that I've provided there keep up with the discussions you can check your grades here I'm not going to click on it because it shows everybody that would be fair to people. Hopefully, uh, it's all up to date. Oh, and be patient with Pearson Revel because it takes 24 hours after the quiz is closed for it to sync and update. And hopefully, this semester, there won't be any problems. So far, every semester, there's been problems. So um, keep your fingers crossed. And if there's a problem, I'll have the IT people look at it again and try to fix it for me. I'm going to cut off here so this isn't too long. Um, Hope you guys have a great day, stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope you enjoy the class.